Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast. This is our season two, run by Women Flicks. My name is Yola Bast. Follow us on social media by Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. You will be able, by these platforms, listen, share, and like our podcast sessions. So, don't forget, follow us on social media. And if you want, you also can follow us on Spotify or iTunes or Anchor. You have plenty of choices or you can choose all. So, I just want to say have fun because it's new stories, new season, new inspirations. Stay tuned and I speak with you later. Bye. My guest for today's podcast is Yvonne Divita. As a serial entrepreneur for close to 20 years, she's been a book publisher, a book coach, a co-founder of a popular online influencer community, an author, and was Woman of the Year in 2015 for Women in the Pet Industry Network. Her mission is to help women to turn their talents and stories and all the magic inside of them into books that will inspire other women to rise up and make themselves heard in this loud, crazy world we live in today. Plain and simple, more women should write books. Let's welcome Yvonne Divita. Hello, Yvonne. Welcome to my podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Yola. It's so good to be here. I, I just saw your pretty face a few minutes ago, and um, <laughs> we, we are going to do a video because I want to introduce you to everyone I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, but during this season, like as you know, we are all at home. Everyone yes. is online and the network tends to go off, especially if we're doing video calls. So we just see each other after a little bit again, if, if, if it's possible for us. Good, <laughs> good. It was amazing. I, I am so glad. I also, yeah, I saw you as well and it was wonderful because we were just talking about each thing of ourselves. Mind. I was like, wow, you got a nice stone. And then we carry on as normal women in the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. So tell me, uh, Yvonne, why do you want people to write print books? Oh, Yola, <laughs> I want women especially to write books because more women today want to start a new business. Mm. They want to take their talent and their magic and make something out of it to share with the world. And they, they don't quite know how. So all of the women out there that have already done this should write a book about it to help the women that are just getting started. Because you know, Yoli, you can go to the bookstore or you can go to Amazon and you can search for a certain topic or title of a book and you're probably going to get a man. You're <laughs> going to end up reading a book that a man wrote about how to start a business. And while it's probably very, very good, I have a lot of books that men have written that I think are very good. When you're a woman, you want to feel that connection. You want the author to be able to understand what it's like to be home with children or to be an empty nester or to be whatever it is relevant to being a woman. And I think that comes through better if women write books about building a business. So women who are building a business can read them. Fantastic. This is, this is so true because 
I'm also a businesswoman and I, a couple of months ago, I decided to write a book. I said, why not? I'm learning about coaching. So, and I want to share my experience. So I started, but I haven't done that much. I, I, I actually, right now, I'm not doing that much, but that was my first thoughts because yes, we keep reading about men writing books and etc. And this is so inspirational. Thank you, because I'm going to carry on doing my my books i will for sure and well y yola let me tell you that's what i do if you need help i'm here to help you because i was a book coach and a book publisher and that's you know that's my passion is looking at the women's market helping women business owners you know encouraging women to write books and you know any help there is if i if i don't have the answer i will find another woman who does Great. That's so kind of you. Thank you. I will, we will talk after our podcast for sure <laughs> about this part. <laughs> Thank you. So you call them real books, but don't most people just want to read ebooks or listen to audiobooks? What do you think? Well, the truth is, um, no, they don't just want to do that. No. Ebooks and audiobooks are extremely popular, but they come from print books. Let's, let's just, um, you know, put our stake in the ground here and say ebooks are print books. The number of times, so if you write an ebook today, and generally an ebook is a shorter, so 100 pages or less, even 50 pages or less, people are going to print it. So it becomes a print book of sorts. Um, it doesn't become a published book with a hardcover and a spine and all the things that we talk about. Yes. But it could. So you could write a series of ebooks. You could write six ebooks that are 20 pages each, and you could turn them into one print book that you sell um, when you're speaking um, on uh, workshops and a number of other ways. I have an ebook all about that, how to, how to take your book to the market and um, make more money from it besides just putting it on Amazon. So in the end, people like to hold a book in their hands. Yes, yes, yep. um, audiobooks and yeah, ebooks right. are very popular, but the, the holding the book in your hand thing is never going to go away. Yes, it's still, it's still, I do, I do read ebooks, but I also read books, paper books, and I still, I actually, right now, I'm, li I'm reading a book, a paper book, and my previous was a paper book and so my ebook has been on the site for the last five months because i keep <laughs> reading the paper books yeah yeah but sometimes i go back to the ebook because the yeah. book is there but is the paper books is a paper book and is it's going to be always like you say yeah it's true yeah that's good so you you just encourage me right now to start because my book that i was talking about is just the ebook it's not a paper book and I don't, I don't really know how to create that paper book. I just found myself doing an e-book because it was looking easy, more easier, I believe. But exactly. maybe I'm wrong because it's, yeah, I don't know too much. But now I'm going to find out with Yvonne. Fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. And so, and you now coming back, uh, about your so you so you you Yvonne yourself you you already wrote some books yes I um I wrote a book that started everything oh gosh in 2004 it came out I think in 2005 oh. and it was about marketing to women who shop online and back then gosh that was brand new the interesting thing was no one was marketing to these women. So all these businesses were running and, and rushing to get online and offer their products and services, but no one was marketing to the women. They were marketing to oh. men. And so I said, that's nuts. Women at that point, women, especially young women at home with kids that they didn't want to have to put the kids in the car and drag them to the, the mall or the store. They were looking online to get things um, for whatever uh, holiday seasons, birthdays, whatever they were buying. 
and no one was marketing to them. So I said, I'm going to write a book to teach small business owners how to market to women online. What do women look for? What's attractive to them? Well, how do you talk to them? It's different online than, than in your store. And so Yola, I'm going to have to tell you, um, a friend of mine suggested the title and I, I went with it. So the book was about marketing to Jane, not her brother, Dick. So I called the book Dickless Marketing. So Dickless Marketing became my signature. Um, and I was getting interviewed everywhere because people thought, oh my God. And I'm like, no, it's not what you think. It's just about marketing to Jane. So, but that's how it started. And then I, I didn't like the publishing company that I chose. So I started my own company. Oh, okay. So, and where we can act, um, access to that book? Because I actually, I don't think so. I've got that information. Well, it's old. It's out of date. You can still find it on Amazon. You can search for Dickless Marketing or search my name um, and it will probably come up. Um, it's out of date, the content, because I mean, that's the important thing. I wrote it to help small business owners at the time. Well, yes. it's now 15 years later and all the content in it is a little bit, it's a little bit out of date. I mean, we still need to learn how to talk to women online. I still um, teach business owners, look, this is, this is like, I have a 15 things you can do to, to, to piss women off because they'll never come to your site now and buy from you. <laughs> you know, and, and that's, you know, that's the thing. It's, that part doesn't go out of um, life. <laughs> right. It's still, it's still important, but um, the book is on Amazon. I don't, I don't market it or anything because it is out of date, okay. but I have a new, a bunch of new books coming up. But I, I believe, uh, Yvonne, let me just say this, because you, you just mentioned that your book is out of date because it's been a long time, but I believe that some things in your book, they might never change. They might mm -hmm. not going to change. So I would be, I would love to have your, your link and find your, or your, or just exact name so I can actually play. I can send it to you. Yes. Please. Because I believe I will probably find things that they still happening today and the solution is there. Well, here's, the, here's a really interesting thing, Nola. Yes. I wrote the book specifically to help the small business owner online attract women to his website or mm -hmm. her website. And I ended up a year later um, launching, well, I also launched a blog at the same time. It was part of the launch of the book. And the blog is called Lipsticking. Oh. And the concept of lipsticking is if you're going to promise a, a woman something, if you're going to use your lips to make a promise, it better stick. It better mean something. Uh, so <laughs> I love it. <laughs> in, in the end, I ended up getting a lot of women saying, can you help me with my website? Can you help me do what you said in your book? And they were, they were small business owners, but they were women wanting to learn how to market themselves online. So I, my whole business flip-flop from yeah. trying to teach small business owners something to trying to help women be successful. And that's what I've been running with ever since. Okay. But that's amazing. Lipstick. I love the name. I Lip love what you're doing. Lipsticking. Lipsticking. <laughs> nope. Lipsticking.com. It. It's still there. <laughs> I will have a look. I also don't have that information with me because I'm just seeing what what is the social media or any information you send me. And I, I'm sure my listeners, my girls, every or even men, they will go and check you out because this is amazing. Thank it you. It turns to the other side to, to help people from one book and one blog to see what is, what's the difference you've been doing in the world. Amazing. I'm so, so happy for, for know these things oh, today. Thank you. <laughs> Great. And what about your popular online influencer community? Tell me about it. Um, my communities. Yeah. So I have um, a book club right now. It's on Facebook. It's a private uh, women's only <laughs> book club. Yeah. And it's all about books, reading, ideas, writing, all of the kind of things women do relevant to words because 
Yola, you know, we like words. We talk more than men and we do it because we like to communicate. It's not, it's not because we just blurt out everything. I mean, sometimes women do that. Men do it too, but women like to communicate. They like to connect. They use words differently than men do. They use different words than men do. So the Facebook group is called Smart Women Write Books. And I invite people to come and, and join um, because we're talking, we're talking ideas, we're talking books, we're talking fiction, we're talking business. It's all about women and what they do with the words. And I say all words matter. Um, I have a friend, she has a website called All Words Matter, but you know, words, Yola, words are not just um, letters on a page. Words have soul. Words have meaning. Yeah, I agree. Life, they call life. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. That's that's amazing. And how, I'm not going to ask you uh, if there's any link to join because I know it's a private, but what exactly do we need to be able to join that group? Like, let's say Nothing. like... Nothing. Nothing. Just, just come if you're interested. If you're interested in words and books and ideas, um, and and you know, sharing what you're reading, sharing what what you want, ideas that you have for a book that you will never write, but maybe you will, um, you know, and that we just share. We just share with each other on this. You can go to Smart Women Write Books on Facebook. Do a search, and it will come up. And I will look at you. There's a couple of questions you have to answer. Um, and then I, I rarely, I have so far not denied anyone because this is, this is a gathering of women online that love books. Oh, amazing. I'm just writing down so I can lose this information and I will be doing this afterward, after. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I love it too. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much for all this. And so you, you published your book in 2004, but how long took you to, to write the book? Because that's one of my questions. Like how long takes, because you know, you are an expert. <laughs> Tell well, interest, interesting. Interestingly, Yola, um, that book probably took me about six months. Oh, but that's all I did. I didn't do any other business. I only sat and wrote the book. Oh, okay. So that's so if today I'm I'm writing my it's been what 15 years and I'm starting a new book which will be a print book called um, Leadership is 50 Shades of You. And it's oh, for, that's beautiful. I love it's it. It's for women. It's for women and it's for women in small business. It's not for women who have a corner office and make the news every day because, you know, we hear about them all the time. I'm um, talking about the women that I meet every day that have businesses. And we're the foundation, Yola. We're the ones that are creating the foundation for all these other people to grow their businesses on. Mm -hmm. So that book is a little bit more de um, um, difficult because I'm trying to run a business while I do the book. Yeah. So okay. it'll be a little longer than six months. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it all depends where we are at the moment when we write the book and what kind of situation, because some people got the privilege to be in silence and or in silence, I mean, not doing anything, anything apart from the book like you've done in 2004, but mm -hmm. now it's another level. You are on another level. You're already working and yep. you're encouraging other women and you you empowering other other women and also writing your book and running your business. And that can be, okay, that's good. It's good to know because we need mm -hmm. to plan. In the middle of this, I believe like is the plan. We need to plan, make a goal and we will be able to, to write that book no matter how long right well it, <clears throat> here's the secret um that is i think the number one reason most people most of the women i talk to who they want to write a book mm -hmm. um they're ready to write a book but they say to me i don't have time there's this going on in my life there's this going on in my life and they just don't have time so that's one of the things i work with women um, on how to find that time, how to make that time. And it isn't overpowering. It isn't um, 
we we no longer have the starving artist in the attic. The um, if you're a woman who's successful in business and you're ready to write your book, there are ways and secrets that I can give you on how to find time for that. Yeah, totally. That's amazing. Uh, oh wow! And it, it makes things simple if you plan and if you just create yes, for your you know things that you want to do in life. That's really is the choices, right, Yvonne? So mm-hmm. You see, it involves our choices, what we, yes. we want for us. Yes, That's really good. So thank you, Yvonne. We're coming to the end of our session, and <laughs> I'm so glad that we had the this opportunity to talk and for you to share your experience, your journey, your what you've been doing in the world to empower other women. This is fantastic. Now I ask you the last question is how people can find you online or anywhere. Tell me. Well, nurturingbigideas.com is my website because that's what I believe in. I believe in nurturing and helping. Um, and on Facebook my name you you can also go on google and put my name in and you're going to get lipsticking you might get the dickless marketing book um you might get nurturing big ideas because you know i've been busy i've been busy <laughs> so you can find me just looking for my name if you want yvonne divita that divita sounds like italian it does it does but that was my ex-husband you know and oh. and people uh, when i got divorced 20 some years ago people used to say why are you keeping his name why why do you still call yourself the Vita?" i said i am keeping it in case i ever get arrested <laughs> Sorry. oh my gosh <laughs> amazing <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a <laughs> so yay, yay, call, call this. this. <laughs> oh my god, people will be listening to our podcast and they will just listen to me laughing. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay, great. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, what a best way to finish a session. <laughs> well, thank you, Lola. Thank you so much. This has been so delightful. <laughs> I'm so pleased to hear. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wish you all the best. I'm sure we're going to keep in touch because yes. I want to know more about the book, how to write a book in, in a proper book. And God bless you and keep you inspiring you, uh, inspire other people and yourself as well. Keep yourself connected with brave and inspirational and strong women or either any kind of any other people <laughs> and do Thank your you. best. Thank <laughs> you so welcome. much. God bless you and take care, Yvonne. You too. Bye-bye. This is the end of our session and I just want to say thank you so much for being with us. I hope that you enjoy. And if you would like to listen again, make sure you follow us on social media. Each session will be always on our pages. And also on our profile, you will get access to a link which will take you to Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, or other platforms where you can listen podcast sessions. Thank you once again. And I speak with you very soon. I see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.